Hello YouTube, it's Tiffany. Welcome to my channel. We are back with a puppy haul. This guy is being a little crazy right now. He has grown so much and he's so cute, aren't you? So I figured I would try to show you guys what worked and what didn't now that he's here, now that we know what he likes. So let's get right into it. First thing was the snuggle puppy. We love the snuggle puppy. We named it Finn. Do you like Finn? He loved the snuggle puppy. He still uses it every night. So that was awesome. This thing, he loved this at first. He hasn't actually played with it in a while, but the squeaker's still intact, which is amazing because one of the first things he likes to do is kill the squeaker inside. So he did love this. Most of the toys he really did like. So he still loved that. Loved his alligator. In fact, I've already had to sew it back together because he's kind of torn it apart. Huh, did you like this one? He still tries to go for our hands. I don't know. This was fun. As you can see, it's kind of torn up quite a bit. Loved playing tug of war with this. So this one was really fun too. It did take a while for him to warm up to it, but he loved it. The Kong, he definitely loved this. He loves that it kind of goes like this and it squeaks. So he's been playing with this a lot. Really loves all of them. The balls, he did play fetch a little bit, not a ton. He gets distracted easily, so he did love the Kong balls. It helps that it squeaks because it gets his attention. Huh. You like that? We're just having a nice pile up over here. The Kong, we absolutely loved. We haven't had to leave very often, and if we did, it was like maybe 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes that we left him home alone. And we would just fill up his Kong with a little bit of peanut butter on each side. So I'd fill up kind of like this with some peanut butter and then I would put some kibble in it and then I'd put a little more peanut butter and then I would freeze it. And so like two or three hours before we were leaving and then he would just sit and lick on it and love it in his crate and it calmed him for quite a bit. We do have the camera and that works great as well. We've absolutely loved that even when it's dark, which we haven't had to leave when it was dark and leave him in here when it was very dark, but it does work in the dark as well. So that was cool. Um, just when we were kind of looking at it and trying it out. But leaving him, um, we've been able to move it wherever we need to and see everything. When my kids are here and they're playing and we just want to check in on them and they're babysitting them or anything, we can use the camera to search back and forth all the way to the kitchen and all the way to the living room, all the way to his bed and just kind of see where they're at. So that has been really good. It just worked great. I haven't had any issues with it being on my phone and not connecting or anything. So it was really, really great for the money. So what else do we have? These little balls that he has that we put little treats in. I'll have to go and get his box of treats. I had to put that up because he can climb all the way up everywhere. He is a climber. So I will put little tiny treats inside these and he loves these. So that worked really good. He doesn't play with it unless there's treats in it though. So that's that. Loved his blanket. He sleeps with it every night. He'll move it around and cuddle with it and move it into just the right spot when he's going to sleep. So it's super cute. He's in his crate next to our bed still. So he is nice and comfy in there. He's doing so much better with um, going to sleep at night. So we'll be showing you guys a video on that. We're going to do a total three month update for him. A little pup date to show what he's learned, how it's going, what this whole last few weeks has been like. So stay tuned for that video. Let's see, the nail clippers, he doesn't love. Uh, definitely we have to make sure he's kind of tired and do maybe a little bit at a time, but it works really well. So that's been good, huh? Yeah, that's been good. So we have not been out to any places where he's gone on walks yet. We just have been practicing walking around inside the house and we usually have his bowl of food, which has been a perfect size for um, his food right now. So we haven't used this yet. So. I can't really not recommend or recommend this quite yet, but going on trips in the car and places, this water bottle has been amazing. We absolutely love that. He drinks out of it just fine. It fills up with water just fine, holds the water just fine. So it has been really great. We also, his leash has been good. We've only used this leash. We haven't actually had to get into the big leash yet. So this one has been perfect. And the poop dispenser bag, it's great as well. It was funny though when we first put it on him and it would drag a little bit. He'd be like freaking out about what's behind him because he'd hear the poop bag dragging behind him. It was pretty funny. So 
His harness, that has taken a little bit of getting used to. I've actually been walking him around in the house with it on because he was tugging and pulling at it a little bit and wanting to bite it. So we put it on and then we walk around the house while I'm giving him treats and asking him to heal. And he is definitely getting used to it and doesn't mind it. And then I'll take the leash off and leave it on him for a little bit. And he pretty much forgets it's, it's even on, but it's actually already starting to get too small. So I'm really glad that we picked up two of them because he has grown really fast. So that's about it for the things that we already bought that worked. For the things that did not work was, first of all, these dental chews. We try to give him one on the way home. We try to give him one a few times. He just does not like these. He was more interested in playing with the bag a few minutes ago than actually playing with them. So we'll hold on to him, see if maybe later he changes his mind. I don't know. As far as teething goes, he hasn't been super big about wanting to chew on a whole lot of the things that I thought he would. Like for instance, the bones that we got like this, these two, he's been a little bit more with the Nyla bone. But the purple bone, I think it's just too big. He's like, oh, what is that? I don't know. He'll chew on it for like a second and then he'll just like want something else. So the kind of chew bone things he's not super excited about. And this, this other bone, he was a little bit more, it actually feels more like a plastic, this Nyla bone. And he actually did prefer this one a little bit more, but his attention span for it's not that great. So moving on, we did get this slow feeder and I thought it would work really great. I put the food in it and the food basically disappeared and he couldn't get his little nose in it. So that I have learned. He's not quite ready for this. We'll definitely hold on to it for when he gets older and has more food that can fit in there. So I did go ahead and order a smaller one, hoping this one would be better. And it was actually still too hard for him to get his little nose in there. So he is, as he's getting bigger, being able to get into it more. But when it gets down to the little bits, I usually have to just like empty it out and let him eat that. But if you do stay tuned and watch his three month update, I'll show you kind of what our feeding schedule and how he eats and everything. And it's super fun. He's got his whole system down. So this ring thing, he does not like at all. No interest in it. We'll try to get into tug of war with it. He's like, no, I'm good. So maybe soon he'll like it, maybe not, but he hasn't liked this one at all so far. As far as his brush goes, it's kind of love and hate. I don't know if maybe when his hair gets thicker and longer, it'll be much better, but he, I mean, it's kind of nice. And I don't think I showed it in the video before, but when you push the button like this, it goes in so you can just wipe away the hair, which is really nice. But the bristles are so thin and kind of wiry that it just looks like and feels uncomfortable. So I think we might need to get him kind of a softer brush for now until his hair gets longer. Um, I think this definitely will be good later on. But as for right now, it just feels really uncomfortable for him and he doesn't like it. As far as treats, he he loves all the treats, really. The salmon flavored ones, though, are his favorite. But he did like these little burger treats. Do you want one? These are the little grain-free burger treats from Trader Joe's. He does like those. That was kind of big treat for you, but usually all these kind of things will break up into little tiny pieces. But yes, all of these little puppy bites he loved. Especially I love these ones because you can tear them into little tiny pieces because they're soft. But these ones, I didn't realize, even though it says crunchy, <laughs> I didn't realize that these were harder ones. And he really does love these too. These are the chicken flavored ones. But these ones are fun. We keep them upstairs for treats so that when he's up in our room and we need him to do whatever we need to or want to reward him for good behavior and such things, then we can just give him one of those. So we keep one upstairs and we keep the other ones downstairs. But we really mostly, as far as treats, have been just giving him these, where'd they go? We've been giving him these salmon ones. So these ones he loves. Okay, sit. One last thing that I didn't mention was the Kong bone. He doesn't play with this much other than if we do put a treat inside the sides, he does like that. I put these uh, soft puppy bites in each side of them and it takes him a little bit to figure out how to get it out. I haven't tried putting peanut butter in each one, but I think the next time we leave, instead of getting the other Kong, I will probably put some peanut butter in each of these and freeze them and then he can try to get them out of that because I think he'd really like that. He's so smart. He likes really trying to figure things out. So, do you need another treat? You come over here. So, other things that we buy. His beds. He loves the bed that is the size of his crate. And he loves being in his crate. He doesn't mind it at all. He mostly gets kind of separation anxiety if we're not near him. So as long as we're kind of near him in the same room, he's good. If we do put him in there with a bully stick or sometimes I'll give him a carrot 
and put him in there with that. He'll be fine in there and everything, but then as soon as he's done, he's like, all right, get me out. And we're usually, we'll wait for him to calm down and then get him out. But for the most part, he likes it. And then he has that bed that we got him in there that he likes as well. Hey, I'm gonna take all those treats away. Come on, I'm gonna take all those treats away. Okay, so I did want to show you guys this gate ugh, that we had was definitely too small. We had it, if you saw in our first day home video, going around his crate, that lasted maybe two days. He learned how to climb right up and over it. Because of the way the slats are, he could get his toes in between all the little grates and basically would just climb right over it. So what we did is we opened up our whole living room and kitchen area and then we have two areas where we could close it off. So he has access to all of that when we're around. We really keep him with us at all times. Otherwise, we have him in his crate. So that was kind of a fail. I would definitely recommend getting something bigger. So other things that didn't work great, he, we have a love-hate relationship with the donut bed. The donut bed, he does love it. The first week we kept it up and he didn't really use it much because we were trying to get him to be in his crate when he wanted to sleep or lay down or anything. So when we did put it down on the ground, I don't know if he thought it was a place to go to the bathroom or not, but he pooped in it twice. So we washed it and unfortunately it ended up getting all matted down and basically looks like Sherpa now because the dryer killed all of it, but it's still super soft and he actually loves it now and we'll say bed and he'll run over to his bed and sit in his bed. Now that we're, we have learned it's not a place to use the bathroom, he likes it a lot. Okay, that about sums it all up. I think that's everything we got. One thing that I did just remember is that his water bowl is actually a little bit too small now. He is going through it a couple times a day. So I think we're going to go ahead and get a bigger one of those, but the rubber on the bottom and everything has been awesome. We haven't had any spills or anything like that. Hey, hey you. So those have been good. His feeding bowl is the perfect size right now, but we'll probably just turn his water bowl that we have now into his feeding bowl because we do a lot of his training with that bowl. So we're carrying it around. So we didn't really want anything too big anyways. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss all of the fun upcoming videos that we have. If there's anything that I missed, just let me know if you have any questions. Don't forget to look for that video I have coming up all about him and his three month update and all the things that have happened since we got him. I hope you have a beautiful day. Until next time, bye.